Hi guys, kumusta po kayo? How is it going? Welcome back to my channel. This is Des, and in this video, I'm going to share with you a lot of things about Filipinos thin skin or Filipino sensitivity. So probably you have heard a lot of this in so many expat uh, channels in YT or some Filipino channels have explained this in their videos but in this video I'll be sharing my own explanation and um, also some facts about Filipinos uh, balat sibuyas so we use the term balat sibuyas which means skin of the onion or onion skin to describe how sensitive Filipinos are okay so before I give you a wonderful list that you might find informative later I want to tell you something about Filipino sensitivity okay so a lot of Filipinos love to criticize others you know from from um, stand-up com uh, comedy or comedy bars uh, teasing teasing their friends right or giving labels to to relatives but when it when it backfires to us we get so mad we we erupt so bad like crazily and it's like we don't like it you, you got my point right like we uh, we love to insult others but when when those things when when other people do those things to us we just don't like it okay so let's head into the list and this list that i'm going to give you are the topics or the things that you have to be careful about when you talk to a filipino or filipinas because they might find your opinions insulting an attack or bad criticism and they will just take it too personal okay so let's have uh, number six number six is politics okay i've mentioned this in my previous live streams so do i need to say more guys you know so to my first time listeners or subscribers in my channel so uh if you can you know please please avoid being too opinionated about the philippines politics religion uh should i say publicly all right uh so Filipinos are Filipinos are also frustrated. I and others are frustrated in what's going on with our politicians. Okay, so not because you are paying, you know, and spending thousands of dollars here, then it gives you the right to to join political rallies. So guys, uh, I don't think you are that too. Uh, you are going to waste your time to join political rallies, really. Uh, this is not even your country, but I totally understand, of course, you have the right to express how you feel about the bu bureaucracy, the, the government processing things here, but just do it privately, okay? Because I believe that your main goal is to, main goal is to enjoy the Philippines. Whatever we can offer for you here, you know, uh, your m focus is to relax, not to get stressed of Filipinos' everyday problem. Okay, so don't stress yourself thinking about our government officials, you know, what crazy laws we have here and um, why aren't the government doing their job well. It's everywhere. So everyone, before I end this video, I want to add a little bit more about this topic because this is so interesting and I really want to explain this to you so you would understand Filipino sensitivity okay so for me i totally agree when an expat or a foreign individual say oh filipino filipinos are the most sensitive people okay that's their opinion okay so there could be other asian countries or asian people who are sensitive like filipinos okay uh for me i'd say oh, we value harmony or pakikisama so that's very important in relationships for filipinos like friendship family couple like that um the confrontations are you know are a natural thing you know it, it happens to everyone but for filipinos confrontations can be taken to personal and it can be dragged for so many years like we will never forget that well for me in general it depends on who are you talking to okay it can be whatever race you know whatever 
uh, profession of a person, whatever work they have. But, but if a person is confident enough, they are ready to uh, to listen to your criticism, to hear your opinion, and they will not retaliate. You know, there's going to be a healthy conversation between you and a confident person who knows how to handle an opinion. And it's just an opinion for them. Yes, of course, it could trigger them, but they know that uh, that is the person's opinion, okay? And it should not be taken too personal. But for insecure Filipinos or individuals in general, you know, uh, insecure people tend to retaliate first. They're not interested to hear what you're going to say. You know, they get agitated and um, they will not like your opinion, even if that's not really about them. They will... Uh, take it personally and uh, the constructive criticisms is just like an insult for them okay so uh, if you notice in social media or yeah everywhere right uh, in Filipino threads or discussions in example in Facebook there's so many keyboard warriors Filipinos out there and there's just very few that you would see that they can just reply civilly or they are they know how to handle a person's opinion they will not curse or swear at that person or whatever so that's how that's how filipinos react okay guys so um, if you have some reactions there or opinions if you agree or disagree to what i've said and discussed here the comment section down below is open for your comments and opinions <laughs> okay so uh, let me see your comments there and please watch my ads as well uh, thank you so much for watching this i hope you find this informative and uh please do not forget to smash the thumbs up button and yes uh <laughs> share this channel to your friends and subscribe if you haven't okay so maraming salamat po everyone and be careful with your opinions when you talk to a filipina online <laughs> okay so see you guys next uh next time Paalam.